Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar. We're going to be talking about my June 1st Lego haul. Uh, a lot of new sets coming out. Everybody's excited to get them. Except for me. I didn't get any of them. So that's how many I got. <laughs> it's an empty bag from a previous haul. So there, there are things that I want that uh, Lego has just released. One I picked up at Costco before June 1st. So I already got that one. And I got it for $25 less than the retail price at Lego. Uh, and there were three other items that I added to my cart. One may still be a pre-order. It's the dinosaur. I also put in the tuxedo cat. And you know what? I can't even remember what the third one <laughs> was. Uh, uh, yeah, the, there was no gift with purchase. When I added those items to my cart, I got no gift with purchase. So I didn't check out because um, I just wait. And that's what I normally do. And now there were things that you could get if you bought Lego City, which the, the yellow Lego delivery truck, that's City. But I, again, I got it for much cheaper at Costco. Um, so if you ordered Lego City, Dreams, and Think Ninjago, you, got, you, could, uh, you could get a, a free set. There was a Ninjago set that if you bought that set, you got something free. So there, there are things that are available out there, just nothing that I wanted <laughs> to, in order to get the free item. In fact, I did go look at some Lego City things, and I may get one or two of the sets that have the Johnny Thunder character in it, but then I was like, I don't want to pay full retail price for those, because they'll probably be cheaper at Walmart or Target or something later, so I ended up not getting anything, um, but that's okay. Am I complaining? No. Is that Does that mean there were not good sets no uh, it's just i can choose when to buy now sometimes people may wait and then sets sell out which i think some of the sets did sell out that's okay uh they they'll make more <laughs> uh, I, I i go back to uh many years ago uh, when the back to the future delorean came out sold out pretty quick people were complaining online about it it sold out they didn't get theirs well they made plenty of them <laughs> And it came back later. So uh, don't rush it. If there's something that you wanted that came out June 1st and you missed it and it's already sold sold out, don't go onto eBay and pay over the asking price because it'll come back. Uh, the only time, they, there have been one or two times, maybe more, where they something sold out and it never came back, but it, usually there was a problem with the set and they just didn't make any more of them. Like the Ant-Man set, there was a problem with one of the Jurassic World sets that for some reason... Once the initial run went out, they didn't make any more. I don't know if it's, I don't know the reason for that one. There's somebody out there that probably knows. Uh, so I don't worry about it because those sets, yeah, they, they always come back and I will hold out. I will hold out for a better discount <laughs> or a gift with purchase. Uh, so the question that I'm gonna ask you is do you think Lego makes too many sets or do you think Lego doesn't make enough sets? <laughs> and that may sound like a weird question, but I, I hear both sides of the argument from time to time. I hear people complaining, and I'm one of them. Uh, they'll complain that they're not making something that I want. And I don't. I think Lego could make double the sets that they're making, and that would still happen. I think there's no limit to how many things that they can make, and yet somebody not still be disappointed that they're not getting something they want. Um, and I've seen the other extreme where there was just too much, it's too overwhelming. Well, that's, that's fine because, I mean, you, you got the choice. It, it, it puts the burden on us to make the choices that we make. And you, yeah, you can't buy everything, but I'd rather have the more choices <laughs> than the less choices. Do I think um, they're wasting resources on certain things? Yes, but I guess that's another debate because um, there's a lot of bad sets. There's a lot of sets I'm like, I don't know who, who these are for. Like, I understand they make Lego sets for kids. That's why we'll always get little like fire trucks. I mean, my grandson's too, and he loves fire trucks. Um, and so they're always going to make fire trucks, police cars, and other city vehicles. Uh, so the Lego City theme or a version of Lego City should always be around. 
Uh, Duplo should always be around, and Duplo incorporates a lot of different things. Um, I do think the they've gone more to a pastel palette. It, it seems like I see that when I look at the Duplo branding. It's a lot of pastels, and I I think it should be more primary colors or a mixture. I have some either, um, and maybe there are, but it's like the, there's a counting train uh, that they made that has it's just so pastel it's like to me it, it, i don't know it just doesn't feel very boyish and this is a yellow truck i'm be talking about lego yellow trucks and this is the duplo one i did a video on this when it first came out i think <laughs> i'm bad about not knowing uh and this is uh, you can already kind of see it the transition here what year did this come out this is um it's been a while pretty sure why can't I see the date on this one? Is it on this side? I should have looked this up. It should be right there, 2015. So this is almost 10 years ago. It's nine years ago. Uh, but it's still, yeah, that primary yellow stands out because of the truck. But you already see there's just one red brick, and then we got these newer colors here. Uh, and now it seems like it's mostly the newer colors. I kind of miss the, the primary colors with the Duplo stuff. And again, I'm not saying we shouldn't have those other colors. I just, I kind of like the 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 more where the primary colors stand out more it's kind of it just feels more lego to me uh, but again that's just an opinion that's not uh i'm not saying it's right or wrong uh, but so there's other things uh, like there's technic there's star wars there's other ip i know some people get um, they get frustrated that lego spends so much time with the intellectual property things but that's what people want so i understand it uh, so there's there's this is just me saying if you're complaining be like me if you don't like what they're making don't buy it <laughs> if you think they're making too much don't buy it if you think it's too expensive don't buy it uh, but if you like it buy it <laughs> if you don't care that it's full price and you want to get it right then buy it if you want to wait until there's a sale wait till there's a sale then buy it so that's that's the point of this video. It's not to talk about my five hundred thousand uh, dollar Lego haul because I've done plenty of hauls, um, but I've never. I don't think I've ever talked about the times like this where there w are not talked extensively <laughs> about it, where there were new releases and then I chose not to buy anything. It's happened a lot. And it seems to be happening more frequently. I'm not saying it's a bad thing for Lego. I'm not saying the sets weren't great. I just didn't have an incentive uh, to go spend my money at lego.com. And there will be other times, if the incentive is right, will be like the, the hauls we did, you know, in just in the past month or so, where I placed two or three orders. Sometimes I've placed as many as 10 uh, when the incentive is right. So be patient. If you want to save money, spend right away if you want to get what you want right away. <laughs> Does Lego make too much? I don't think so, um, because no matter how much they make, there's always going to be more that we want, like trains. We want trains. <laughs> make more trains, Lego. Uh, should Lego make less? I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I think that they'll, going forward, they will just keep making more. I mean, maybe next year will be the first year we get a thousand different Lego products in a single year. It's crazy, uh, the number. When I go back and look at, I can go back and look at like 1970s, like the mid-70s, uh, there would be like 50 items <laughs> in the whole catalog. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about the printed catalog. That's all that was available. It's 50 items. <laughs> It's a lot different world now in 2024 versus even 1994 when I was on the bicycle ride. Where did we go June 11th through the 18th? We went somewhere. I think we went to Bainbridge. It's the only time I've ever been to Bainbridge. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is kind of the pastel colors. That was unintended. You know, a lot of times I pick <laughs> these shirts. I try to relate it to the video and I... I, I swear, I just accidentally, you know, I like the more primary colors. That's why I don't wear this shirt a lot or I paint in it. It's got a stain right there. Can't, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. So tell me what you think. Does Lego make too much? Are they not making enough? 
Is Lego too expensive? And should you always just buy when there's a discount or an incentive? I think I think that's the if you want to save money, that's the way to go. And I don't recommend letting FOMO make you pay too mo. <laughs> I'll see you. Or is it too move?